What is up guys, it's you here, bringing another review on Black Clover. This episode came to me as a surprise, uh, it completely shocked me, was not expecting any of the events that happened towards the very end of the episode, but before I even get to any of that, let's go ahead and retrace our steps and talk about the beginning. Um, once again, this older sister really really speaks to me i really liked what she was doing she tried her best to go and find a way to get all these kids out of here we also see how nage is pretty much just accepting death he doesn't want to die but his brother is no longer himself and he's about to be crushed asta defends him and basically tells him look you cannot die until you've atoned for your sins and nage is like okay basically just kind of surprised uh, we have asta trying to find a way to take down baro even though it's really looking grim for him it's a really no way to take him down he's regenerating quicker than when he's being attacked and gouch is pretty much trying to dip out we saw that in the last episode he was trying to get out but luckily we have mari just kind of try to snap some sense into him by basically telling him you know you're you're a magic knight you know because of everyone else you know we are where we are like i want you to be the cool brother that i know that you can be uh, he doesn't like that but we also during this whole time get that flashback about both of them about their past i really did not expect them to be coming from a noble background they were uh, had some rich family members and their parents were killed by i guess some business owners and it did not go well uh, but that's what made gouge become the criminal that he is because he had to look out for his sister he basically developed this sister complex because it was just them two against the world so it makes more sense now why he has this complex why he's always worried about his sister why is he sees his sister as an angel and why he wants to keep her that way so i thought it was really cool to get that that explanation out of the way but an even bigger surprise was to know why his eye was covered like we see him come back and we see him you know joining with asta at first not really he was not a fan of and then he thinks back on the time with yami where he's like, you can protect whatever you want, but someday it'll help someone else out. And sure enough, it's that time. We see how he basically creates this new spell. And Asta has the same kind of deja vu moment that I have with Noel. Where Noel's magic transferred into his blade. And now we have Gouch's power or magic going into Asta's blade. And it's causing more damage. But now that Gouch creates his new spell, we have uh, Gouch having a kind of glass eye being revealed. And it's basically what he already has, just in his eye. And he looks at Asta, and Asta is able to basically, basically Kage no Butch, Kage, Kage no Jutsu, I know I butchered that name, had a shout of clones everywhere. And, well, it was called that Marriage Barrage, or Bur M Mirage Brigade, I'm sorry. And just, it starts tearing into this monster, taking down Sally as well. And it's looking hunky-dory. We even had the kids, you know, kind of being able to get to the outside. They're starting to get together. Everything's looking good. And then we have, like... Nage just kind of having his moment with Asta, you know, and Asta saying, you know, yes, you have to basically atone for what you've done. You have to be responsible for the actions that you've caused. And he said, you know, we can be buddies after that. But nothing ever good happens when a scene like that happens. We have freaking Nage come down out of nowhere, honestly, because I was not expecting him to fall when he did. I was just surprised. I was like, who would have done that? And then we see Gouch going down. He's getting, like, I don't know, those thunderbolts or whatever they were. He's going down. And then they're going after Asta. 
and we have the older sister coming out of nowhere and blocking and it turns out that it's Letched, the leader of I guess Sally's group which Sally is down and he picks her up and just like he basically just says you know they get what they deserve for hurting my comrade I was like not an age man he, he was trying to he was a good guy you know and now he's gonna die but what really upset me was the older sister taking all those thunderbolts or light bolts whatever they were and it was just it was sad because I was not expecting her to go down she had to protect Asta and it was just tough but honestly I hope that she gets a proper a proper I guess last moments with Asta of some sort because she was just badass throughout these last couple of episodes and I've really enjoyed her and from the preview we have Yami make an appearance and he looks like it's light magic versus dark magic so it's going to be Letched against Yami. It's, it's really looking interesting. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you guys like this episode? Well, did it shock you? And as always, stay safe. And I will catch you later. You call me on the cell phone.